Are free thinkers actually determinists in disguise? Um, you know, as a Christian apologist, I often talk to people who have these ideas about reality and about the way things are. Oh, there's, there's my dog barking, if you can hear it. He's loud. Sorry. But... People have an idea about the way things are in the world, especially uh, some of the new atheist materials, for example, have um, made people to start to think or to claim that they are actually free thinkers. Well, what is a free thinker, really? I mean, a free thinker under this idea of, of their humanistic philosophy would just be that somebody is free uh, from with, with, with no uh, moral obligation, no objective obligation coming from from God or, or whatever to to think in a certain way about the world. In other words, you're free to believe what you want about the world. Really, it's just another part of postmodern philosophy. What's true for you is not necessarily true for me. So that's this whole free thinking philosophy. Now there's a uh, uh, a gentleman by the name of Tim Stratton, who I think forms a pretty good argument called the free thinking argument, but that's not really what I want to discuss. I want to discuss this idea of biological determinism. You see, if if atheism is true, then one cannot really be a free thinker. Uh, this is true for a couple of reasons. Uh, Philosopher Alvin Plantinga has rightly pointed out in his evolutionary argument against naturalism that by definition, natural selection does not select for truth value. It does not. Survival has nothing to do with truth value, right? We could lie, and arguably, uh, in lying about a particular situation, that would possibly produce better survival value than... Uh, then would telling the truth. So, in that way of thinking, uh, naturalism is not sufficient to accomplish what is required in order for atheism to be true or to be a to be a free thinker. So, the real problem here is that if there is no guidance to processes for instance, in the universe. If there is no intelligent creator, no intelligent mind designing things, designing outcomes, um, providing us with the sufficient knowledge to be able to understand reality and truth claims, then everything that we believe, we were always destined to believe that way. This means the person who supposedly irrationally believes in religion believes that way because he was biologically necessitated to believe in such a way. Now, this isn't a very popular way of thinking, but most uh, scientists who uh, popularize their 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 uh, their worldview in the sense of naturalism. The, those who those who are most consistent with their beliefs uh, realize this. They realize that biological determinism is inevitable. It is a fact of the world. So the main point that I want to get across to you here in just this short video is that when you are debating with somebody who calls himself a free thinker. What you should point out to them, because they normally mean by that, that they are not a Christian, that they are in fact an atheist, they're not bound by the constraints of any religion or any god or anybody else for that matter. And by definition, they think that that means that they're a free thinker. But under that way of thinking, they by definition could not be a free thinker because there is no intelligent mind giving them the ability to think freely about the world. Rather, they are determined as uh, evolutionary biologist and new atheist writer and, uh, and, and, and progenitor uh, Richard Dawkins has said, we are all, in that case, just simply dancing to our DNA. We have no choice but to be the way that we are. And that means, by definition, there could be no free thinker.